edition of The World Over Live. From our EWTN studios, Raymond Arroyo. Welcome to the World Over Live and Happy New Year. In a moment, we'll tell you about these terrible tsunamis and what is being done on the ground and how you can help. But first, news from the world over this week. The Diocese of Orange in Southern California announced the largest sex abuse settlement in history this week. Bishop Todd Brown negotiated the $100 million settlement, resolving 90 lawsuits against 34 religious and 10 lay people. The allegations of abuse all occurred between 1936 and 1996. The Orange settlement surpasses the $85 million paid to victims in the Archdiocese of Boston back in 2002. Under the terms of the deal, half the money will be paid by the diocese, the other half will be paid by eight insurance companies. The implications of the settlement for other California dioceses could be devastating. The Archdiocese of Los Angeles alone, headed by Cardinal Roger Mahoney, is currently facing more than 500 sex abuse lawsuits. And an alleged victim of defrocked Boston priest Paul Shanley may decline to testify if he publicly is identified during the abuser's upcoming trial. Two of Shanley's accusers have dropped their cases and another may follow suit. If the fourth alleged victim declines to testify, it would mean the end of the criminal case against Shanley, one of the most infamous figures of the Archdiocese of Boston sex abuse scandal. And U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell traveled to Sri Lanka this week to survey the damage from last month's devastating tsunami. 30,000 Sri Lankans were killed by the deadly tidal wave, and over 800,000 have been left homeless. Earlier this week, Powell visited Indonesia, one of the areas hit hardest by the tsunami. He said the devastation surpassed anything he had ever witnessed. In Indonesia, on Friday, 4,000 more bodies were pulled from the rubble in Sumatra, bringing the overall death toll to nearly 145,000. But that number could climb. UN officials say malnutrition and disease could claim even more lives. More on this in our next segment. Meanwhile, Pope John Paul II continued to ask Christians everywhere to pray for the victims and survivors of the Asian tsunamis. On Wednesday, the Pope took part in three minutes of silence and prayer for the millions struggling in the aftermath of the disaster. Pope John Paul asked the nations of the world to send economic relief to the affected countries. And in China, a bishop in the underground Catholic Church has again been detained by the communist government security forces. Bishop Julius Zhao Zhigao was taken into custody by government officials on Wednesday. According to the Cardinal Kung Foundation, Bishop Zhao, who is 69 years old, has been arrested repeatedly for refusing to align with the government-controlled Catholic Patriotic Association, which rejects Vatican authority. We'll continue to monitor this story. And in Iraq this week, seven U.S. soldiers and two Marines were killed as insurgents continued assaults in the lead-up to the scheduled January 30th elections. This was the deadliest attack on American forces since the suicide bombing of the mess tent in Mosul two weeks ago. Iraqi Prime Minister Ayad Alawi said he is not surprised that the number of attacks has increased owing to the upcoming vote. Alawi blamed former members of Saddam Hussein's regime for the continuing violence, but Bob that the elections will take place as scheduled. And there have been some important Episcopal appointments made by Rome in the last few weeks. Bishop Wilton Gregory of Belleville and the former president of the Bishops' Conference has been named Archbishop of Atlanta. He'll be installed January 17th. And the Vatican announced on December 29th that the Texas Diocese of Galveston, Houston has been elevated to a metropolitan archdiocese. Bishop Joseph Fiorenza is now archbishop of the million-plus member archdiocese. Bishop Daniel DiNardo is likewise elevated to coadjutor of the new archdiocese.
Also in Texas, Bishop Jose Gomez will soon become the new Archbishop of San Antonio. Gomez is currently Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Denver. San Antonio is home to more than 644,000 Catholics, nearly 90% of whom are Hispanic. Congratulations to all the new bishops and archbishops. When we return, we'll look at what's being done for the victims of the tsunamis and how you can help. Father Chris Promise of Catholic Relief Services will join us when the World Over Live continues. Stay with us.